Hi guys! Okay, so I'm going to be doing a tutorial today on how I do my eyebrows. Um, I have them filled in right now, but you will see very soon they're very sparse. Um, so it's like crucial, like it's mandatory that I do my eyebrows, like it's no choice. Um, the product that's like my holy rub I always use, I always use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade. I either use chocolate or dark brown. Um, and like a brush with a spoolie at the end so I can like brush and fade away the front. Um, and concealer. Um, I know it's like really popular to do like the really light concealer at the top, like the halo brows. It's not cute. So we're doing something different that. Um, and yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoy. Bye guys. Okay, hi guys. So let's, what you want to do is you want to start by lining the bottom of your eyebrows. Um, I try not to start all the way from the front because that's how you get the thick, choppy brows. Um, I bring it down um, and then I start lining the top of my brows, connecting it to the tail. And then you want to start shading the inside of the brow with the extra product you have left over. So you just want to keep shading. And then with the product that's left over on the brush, you want to start shading in the front of the brows. Sorry guys for that, um, <laughs> that lash glue on my eyes, it's so ratchet, I was too lazy to redo this, but yeah, so just making sparse little hair like movements at the front, and then filling in any gaps that I see. And since I don't have a lot of brows, I do have a lot of gaps, so I'm taking the end of the spoolie of my brush and then I'm blending that all out. So then I'm taking my MAC concealer in NC45 and I am drawing a line underneath the brow to clean it up. See so what you want to do is after you make that line you want to pull the brush down so that it disperses the product all over the eye. You don't want it stuck in one place because it makes it obvious and it helps blend it out so you don't have a harsh line. And then I'm taking my concealer in NC50 for MAC and then I'm lighting the top. This is the color of my skin. Um, of the Studio Fix that I use for my foundation, so this will stop you from getting that like halo effect. It'll be similar to the color of your foundation. So then I'm also pulling that out so it blends in effortlessly with my foundation. And you can also use your finger or brush to blend that out if you have already done your foundation like I have. So then I'm taking my spoolie, blending it out once more to ombre the front. I just feel like that makes it look a lot more natural. This is the final look. Hope you enjoy, guys. Oh, as you can see, my eyebrow, my new eyebrow. Thanks, guys.